I've toured every single McGill residence and this video is a compilation of all of those tours along with my personal ranking for which ones are the best. Disclaimer though, these are based on my personal preferences. Every single one of these dorms is great in their own way. If you just want to hear the rankings, then there are timestamps in the description. And if you want to argue with my rankings, then you can do so in the comments. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to list out two or three cons for each of the residences, and then I'm going to cut to the actual dorm so you can hear about it from people that actually live there. Okay, without further ado, in last place, we have Solon Hall. This one's very personality based though, because if you don't mind living farther away to campus, I think you really like Solon and I think it kind of deserves a ranking of its own, but for cons, it is the farthest away from campus. Um, it doesn't have a meal plan. This could be a pro for you though, depending. And most rooms also have more than one roommate, which could also be a pro for you. Hey, Hi. wait, wait, this is, this is your house. Why am I here? Yeah, well, um, do you want to give me a tour? Of course, I'd love to. Okay. Okay, so this is our little entryway where we put our coats and our shoes. Kind of like most of our grocery stuff goes up here too. Um, this is our hallway. So this is my room. Um, I have to say I love the tall ceilings. I love the window. The room came with the desk and the chair, um, the bed obviously, and then this like little closet. So I'm pretty sure that's all that it came with. Okay. And then the rest I brought in. You brought in a lot of stuff. It's yeah, like, it's I very did. well decorated. Thank you. I would just say buy things once you get here. Like once you get to Montreal, then do the shopping because if you do dorm shopping and then you come with a bunch of unnecessary stuff that you're never gonna use, that's not very helpful. So I'd say just wait until you know kind of like what your apartment's gonna look like. Um, next is our little living space, I guess, living room. Um, again, really big windows. I love that. I think that's so nice. The natural lighting that we get in here is super nice. Um, also came, apartment came with a couch um, with this little table, the lamp and the bookshelf. Um, as well as the table and the chairs. This is the kitchen. Um, okay, I think we bought most of what's in here. It obviously came with the fridge and like all the actual like big appliances, but we had to buy like most of the pots and pans, um, obviously like food and ingredients and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's nice to cook in here. And the fridge is actually really spacious. We're three people living in here and we actually have a lot of room um so that's nice i'd say like pros definitely the space um i think like having an apartment is really nice i also think that it's like kind of gets you ready for next year like when you're not necessarily going to be living on campus like i know that like cooking for myself and doing groceries just feels like i'm very much like adulting i think the idea of like having roommates but still having your own room is super awesome like yeah. you get your own space but you also like live with people So these are your roommate's rooms, oh, right? Oh yeah, this yes. is roommate Sophia's room, and then Irvita's room. So, I, I'm not exactly sure about this one, but I think, like, I have a small room. Like, that's what it's labeled as, um, labeled as on Minerva. Um, and then my roommate has a bigger room, and then my other roommate, I think her room is a little bit bigger, so I think there's just different sizes, and you only know, like, the day before you move in, I think. And the fact that they're different sizes also means that they're different prices, but again, unfortunately you don't know that until the day before you move in. Um, this is our first kind of bathroom. I mean, there's no like actual toilet, but there's a shower back there. Sink, mirror, a little storage space down here. Pretty simple. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And then here we have toilet and then our shower which also bathtub so that's kind of nice i don't know like yeah. i feel like people don't really take bath nowadays but i i love a good bath especially mm -hmm. in winter so i feel like that'll be nice yep um kind of same setup 
pretty simple. And then another little, I mean, I think the storage spaces look a little awkward sometimes. Storage space, we keep our, our rooms there. There's one elevator and I don't use it because my room's on the first floor. Um, but it's only been broken once since I got here. And it honestly, like, I think it was broken a few days ago and it got repaired that same day. Um, so I'd say it's, it's pretty reliable. What's the Solon culture like? So it's honestly, it's very quiet, but most people are really friendly. And like all the people I've met are really sweet. So it's a nice, it's a nice community. Um, I think most people would say that like the commute is a con, but I don't mind it. It's honestly like, I find it relaxing. Like you just like put your headphones on and you listen to music. It's nice. I would count it as a pro. I think like some people would say it's a con. I think it's very, like that's a very personal thing, but like, I don't mind it. So close by, there's a really cute market. It's called Atwater. Um, I say it's like a, like a seven minute walk and there's a bunch of different like little stands. You can get fresh fruits and veggies and just like a bunch of different little places to explore. There's also a Super C, which is, I didn't know what that was, um, but it's a grocery store and it's pretty like decently priced. Also like seven minutes away, it's they're right next to each other. Um, there's a park by the metro station. There's a few cute coffee shops too, um, some bookstores. So there's things to see. In sixth place is La Citadelle. Um, so for reasons, it doesn't have a dining hall. It is pretty expensive. I think it's the most expensive hotel residence and it's not as social as some of the other residences. Hey Hazel. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, show us around your room. Okay, I can you just start here. This is the closet. It, it looks the same on the other side, but this I moved in there. But it comes. There's like an iron and an ironing board, and then just a shelf up there, and this bar for clothes. You're in a regular double, right? Yeah. So this is this is a double, and then there's singles. I haven't I haven't been in any of the singles. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they're similar sizes. They just don't have the extra furniture. They're just kind of like an empty space from pictures I've seen. Um, and then there's also large doubles, which I'm pretty sure there's one on each floor. And those have a separate like bedroom for one of the beds. And so the bathroom, it's pretty much a standard hotel bathroom. Standard hotel bathroom with like a little shelf, towel things. There's hooks on the other side of the door. And there's also the garbage was in there. Okay. Yeah. I, I rearranged the room a lot, and also I don't have a roommate, and this is a double room, so the furniture is interesting right now. Uh, so yeah, like, I have that bed that would normally be my roommate's bed, but there's uh, two of these and one larger one. There's two desks, two chairs, and two beds. Both of the desks are over there, but... And then there's this main, like, dresser thing with drawers on either side, and the fridge is in the middle. I don't have very much in there. Um, as far as things that come with the room, these lights and the Keurig came with it. Uh, the rest of the stuff is mine though. I have the desks and the cabinet under the desks and everything, but there's also these cabinets. I have my trash in there currently. So there's one here and then there's two on this side that I have a little covered up. Just Apparently in some of the rooms, the windows open, but mine does not. I love the posters. Yes. This is amazing. I love what you've done with the place. Yeah. And you have air conditioning. Yes. Yay. Air conditioning. And then there's no like overhead light, which is kind of standard for a hotel room, but it does get a little annoying if you want like a well-lit space. This is a really niche complaint, but the one thing I like least about the room is the carpet because Disgusting. You can tell it hasn't been like deep cleaned. Um, they probably tried something, but yep. yeah, it's <laughs> the best. <laughs> and then what's the culture like at Lesset? Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, I know this year we have a group chat where a lot of people will like make requests and people will be like 
have like a screwdriver or something, they can borrow it. So there's a lot of that. Occasionally people will be hanging out on the top floor, which is like a common room and there's a kitchen up there. So it's a good place to like meet people. But I mean, if you don't want to meet people, you can kind of just avoid it. Is it true that La Cite is really quiet? Like it's quiet, um, not like physically, uh, the other night at 3 a.m., some people were having a party and swearing very loudly and running up the hall right outside my room. But I think the dorm as a whole, I mean, you can kind of find whatever. That is very college core. In fifth place, we have New Res or New Residence Hall. It's also pretty expensive like the other hotel residences, as you can tell, I kind of weigh costs pretty heavily. It's farther away from campus than the other residences, not as far away from as Solon, but... And it's also a little bit less social. Hi! Hey! Oh! <laughs> come in, come in. Okay. Is this your room? No, it's not. Yes, no? no? Okay. <laughs> come in. Okay. Cool. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. And then what does the bathroom come with? It comes with everything you see plus this like hotel style hair dryer. Okay. And it comes with shower curtains. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, and that's pretty much, oh, and it comes with a toilet plunger and a toilet cleaner. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Gee, I would recommend people do this. Like you write letters to your friends or like you get letters from them at graduation. But don't look at it too much because then you'll get sad and homesick. Do you like your desk lamp? Yeah, it actually is really nice. It actually works. It's more like this drawer in the middle is where the mini fridge is. Okay. It's ooh, all of our stuff. Cool. And then there's the TV. And it's the same thing on the other side? Yeah, exactly. I mean, there are these like drawers here that we do share. Okay. And like, you can like decide how to share them with your roommate. And like, this is actually how we, like, you light up the room at night. It's using these. And like, every, we have like three of them that we can use. And it's like, it would be like dimmer than a room with like actual ceiling lights, but it actually is like, it does work pretty well. Okay. And we actually also do have these like reading labs. Over here, and they're like they're better for like when your roommate is sleeping, you can like read or do things on this side, and it's actually like pretty well shielded. Okay, so like your roommate can sleep while you use this light. Okay, so there are two different room types there's double, which basically just has two beds, and then there's single, which is one bed. They are double sized, but you can like um, get away with at least like a twin size duvet, like this is twin sized, you can get away with that. Uh, I would buy like double sized sheets though. Like okay. They do fit better and they feel better. Okay. Definitely bring posters and yeah. decorations. Even if they're like really stupid drawings or whatever that your friends made, like bringing decorations makes the whole place feel like your home. The pros are like the location is amazing. You're close to the athletic center, you're close to like a beautiful field slash park. You're connected to an underground mall, you're connected to or you're close to like a number of restaurants that accept one card. And like depending on where you are, like the view is amazing. Look at the view. Does everybody have such nice views? Mostly. Like okay. if you're if you like face that way, which is a street, you kind of just look at like other buildings that look like this building. Okay. But like everywhere else, like the view is amazing. You look at like other parts of Montreal, like you can see that street often has like protests. Okay. And like it's uh, really like interesting to see like what happens in Montreal. Like you see it right in front of your eyes, the protests, the like current events happening in Montreal. And you guys have air conditioning. Yes. Can, like you can change it although like they do need to be cleaned because <laughs> like if you like breathe in the air here like you will cough and there's like two different curtains like you can have this kind of like see-through curtain 
And then you have like the blackout curtains, which you use like, you know, at night. And the TV has a couple of channels. Okay. Um, you can connect to it, but you need like a USB cord. But it does have like a few channels. Like if you want to learn French, yeah. There's Quebecois stuff on there. Is it true that there are a lot of French people um, at or um, New Res? Yes, but like the thing is, it's like lots of Quebecois and French people. So it's just like a lot of French in general. Like when you go up the elevators, you're probably gonna hear French, um, but it's gonna be probably like both France French and Quebecois French. Okay. We have the mirror, which is also a closet. It's very nice. Okay. This is my side. We use it. We hang up like clothing. Up here, I have like my stuff, like toilet paper. Okay. There's like also like a iron that comes okay. with the room. Culture is really individualistic because like there isn't really many opportunities to come together as a community. Like there are, like your floor can organize some like floor events, but that honestly doesn't happen that often. So like community here's kind of like what you make of it. Like if you want to have lots of friends in other dorms, you can do that. But if you want to just chill in your room, like you can do that too. You kind of, you don't really get what you pay for because it's, it is kind of expensive for student housing, but it is like a lot nicer than some of the other dorms. In fourth place, we have Carrefour Sherbrooke. It's the least expensive hotel residence though. Um, it's kind of more in between in terms of being social and it's dining hall doesn't serve hot food for breakfast or on weekends. Four. Oh, okay. Well, okay. see ya. Hi. Hey. <laughs> and who's that girl that rushed off? <laughs> That's my roommate, Maya. She had to go to Poetics. Okay. If you have the opportunity to choose your roommate, maybe do it, because then you get to know the person beforehand before like living with them. Um, I didn't meet my roommate beforehand, so it was like a little bit kind of um, scary coming into it, because like I really didn't know who they were. But like now we're like pretty good friends, so I think I like that. <laughs> okay, well, can I have a tour of your room? Yeah, sure. Okay, come in. Cool. Wow. Yeah, it's a large double in okay. C4. Um, this is our photo wall. Wow. Can I be on the photo wall? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But this is our like closet. My roommate and I will share it, so we each have like a, a side in it. This is our, we have a counter with um, like a mini fridge and stuff that came with the room. Um, the hotel style dorm, dorms have like their own washrooms in each room. Mm -hmm. So it's just my roommate and I that share this washroom. There's like um, a hanger on the, the, like the other side of the door. I think most rooms come with a garbage can for the washroom, but ours didn't. Um, the painting came with the washroom. You actually can't take this one down. Okay. Um, like the curtain came with the washroom. But like everything else, like we got ourselves. The rack came with the room. Or not the bathroom, but the room. And the two garbage cans did too. Oh. Um, yeah. And because we have a large double, we have like a door separating uh, my room and her room. So do you, you want to come into her room? Sure. It's kind of big. Um, we're on the 11th floor, so you get like a pretty good view. Okay. Um, it came, comes with like a desk, uh, lamps. Uh, each room has a TV. Um, yeah, and they're all queen size beds. It's like a giant clock that came and it was hanging over her bed when we were here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a... I feel like it might also fall on your head. Oh, yeah. Like, you get flat Stanley in the middle of the night. <laughs> mm. So there's a different type of large double, um, which is, like, two rooms separated by a hallway. Um, okay. But they're both, like, equally sized rooms and it's pretty nice. Um, there's singles, which are, like, sort of, like, smaller versions of the... The doubles um there's a regular double um which is just like two rooms next to each other like in a hotel um and those rooms kind of vary in size as well honestly like if you have a large double i'd say get here early and you can like choose which type of room you want this is my room the outside room is like generally a little bit bigger 
Um, I also have a TV um, and this like big shelf thing. Um, and my windows are bigger too. And also the, the room on the outside of large shovels, like you get the AC, which is nice. Okay. Because the inside room doesn't really have a way to get the AC. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, and then like every room comes with like a door, uh, not a desk and like a chair. Oh, and we also have um, a storage room. Okay. I'm pretty sure only large shovels have this because I've never seen like a regular double with this. Okay. Room. Whoa. <laughs> this is like. It's like pretty big. The size of a New York apartment. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And is there like, did the rack come with it or? Um, no. We bought the rack. Um, like I have an end table, like a little shelf under my desk. Um, but that's basically it. Okay. And the paintings come with the room, right? Unfortunately. Well, you can take them down, but it leaves like a really ugly, um, thing on the wall. Okay. Like this one. Well, this one's actually kind of sick. But it, it leaves like, um, like these things on the wall. Okay. You can also take the headboard off and move it around. Like one of my friends did that. I feel like your posters are much prettier than this painting. Thank you. Do you need help? <laughs> okay, I'm a little. Actually, no, it's fine. Oh. We're just gonna leave this like this. Yeah? Are you, are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. I can put it back later. Okay. Um, we're like a very central residence, like compared to Upper Res um, or Solon, because we are downtown and we're fairly close to um, campus. So, yeah, the location's really nice and the rooms are pretty big. Um, I'm not sure if the other hotel styles have large shovels, um, but I really like like having a large shovel because you get to like spend some time away from your roommate sometimes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, at the beginning of the year, we actually couldn't um, use like the water in our washrooms to brush our teeth or anything because we had that like um, water advisory about the lead in our water. But that's just like generally Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just caution in case. Could happen at any residence, I think. Yeah, it yeah. definitely could. It could happen like in the McGill Ghetto as well. Yeah. Um, like a lot of the, it's just, just like the, the Montreal pipes that have an issue. Yeah. And do you find that it's quiet at C4? Not really. Okay. <laughs> um, maybe it's just my floor, or maybe it's just like the people this year. But like, there's like, um, there's like a lot of rumors that like C4 is like a super quiet residence, and. Well, I'd say they're, that they could be more stricter than other residences. Like we have turnstiles and we have like a limited amount of people that can be signed, signed in at a time, um, which is like a lot different from Upper or Douglas. Um, I think that it's still like a pretty um, loud social residence. A lot of people just sat in like the big common room on the third floor and they just like introduce each other, um, introduce themselves to each other and like had like a really big icebreaker game. Mm -hmm. So it was like, Really fun. If people leave their door open, you can just like go in and talk to them. Okay. And everyone's super nice. Yeah. It has like six washers, six dryers, I think. Okay. For like everyone kind of has their laundry. There's like ghost floors here. Like it always, like one of the elevators always stops on 12 and 6, no matter what. we have Douglas Hall which doesn't have any elevators which makes it unfortunately less accessible you have to walk up the hill there are communal bathrooms and it's a little bit cult like but maybe you like that hi welcome my name is Rachel I'm a U0 student in management and this is my room oh my gosh thank you for having me no problem. You first have a very nice desk. I mean, this is pretty standard for most people. There's like a light, so that's nice. But if you don't like direct lighting, I know some other people that will bring an extra lamp in that case. And then we have our little fridge. Yay. Okay, so I mean, to be fair, our doubles are just doubles. Our doubles are just a little bit bigger. We have big single rooms, but they're all different. And obviously, the one that you guys saw were just the very like standard single rooms. And then we have four little like, so let's say cupboard thingies, which are nice. It's just all for all the clothing. I think this is 
a very good amount of room for clothing um especially for me because i still have a lot of space in these and then we have a little i guess medicine cabinet bring medicine if you come here bring medicine there's no way you're not going to get sick and the medicine here is like 21 dollars like minimum so like please bring as much medicine as you can here and then another thing is detergent if you're coming here they never told us this but you have to use the like the high intensity detergent that doesn't make as much bubbles because that will break their machine but they haven't mentioned it anywhere so just in case if you don't want to break the machines get high intensity laundry detergent so basically this looks like this is the light for like the overhead light except there is none so like what is it for it's for the fridge so basically even if you have the fridge plugged in in there and have it on like full like intensity if this is off like right now it will not get cold you have to turn it on for it to actually get cold my it's really messy yay everything is here um bring i mean i think that's very obvious bring hangers a lot of them because you're gonna need a lot and then on the top there's like a it's very sketchy actually it's just a wooden board so like that's like the shelf for this closet so like i try not to put very heavy stuff on there because if it does fall well i bet it's screwed there then we have a light wow so revolutionary because we have no overhead lighting yeah and then bring your own trash uh garbage bags yeah and then there's also a lot of space down here if you ever do have like need to have like i feel like you could hide in there oh wait no no i can fit in there i can literally fit in there there's a lot of space in there so if you ever have like extra like storage bins mm -hmm. this is a great place yeah okay and then you know here you can look outside whenever all the upper residences go down to party you see all of it the hill honestly the hill's not that bad i'm like i think if it could be a deal breaker if you really don't like going up the hill and it really could make you hate this like the re up residences but like i would counter it by saying that like it made me a lot more active because now i do like 10k stuffs oh my god yeah heaters these are really old these are like the victorian ones like <laughs> oh no <laughs> so like hopefully they don't break us break mm -hmm. us this winter and we also have no air conditioning so in uh, case you guys yeah. have a heat wave like we did this year get a fan get a fan this fan's very important i would not be alive in really winter for this fan Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's about it. There is no elevators. There are, I think, a maximum like four floors, but it is pretty painful if you're on the fourth floor and you have to walk up the stairs. Douglas culture, I think, is very unique in the sense that there, there truly is type every every type of people. There are some people that. I have never seen like their faces because I've never seen them come out of their room. And then we have the best room in Douglas, the foosball room. Foosball is the best sport there mm -hmm. is. And yeah, it's very fun. So people that are always out and about, like for example, the people that organize movie nights, those kind of things, or they're always up on the fourth floor or there's also v a lot of people that are starting like in our dining hall or like the library as you saw today we do live up to the studious stereotype for sure i think maybe like a good at least half is definitely scholarship but i do think i have met a lot of non-scholarship students our bathrooms are on average like two to three sinks two showers and like one to two bathroom stalls and that's six people sharing it it's actually not that bad yeah she's drawing it out because it's that complicated it's like it i don't know why it is it doesn't even like it well yeah that's basically it for the houses it's very complicated yay it's a douglas squirrel in second place, we have Upper Residence. I live at Upper, so I am a little bit biased, and I did also rank it first when I was choosing my residences. Um, it is also the cheapest residence on campus residence. But for cons, it can get noisy because it is very social. You have to walk up the hill, and it's the communal bathroom where you just share with the most amount of people compared to the other residences. Welcome to my own board. 
I have my closet here and it has a full length mirror, which is nice. And then we've got the inside of my closet. I have kind of like a towel rack here and then different hooks here that I usually use for my backpack and jackets. And then we have a shelf, um, some room for hangers. And then at the top we have another shelf where you can put more things um, that you might not be able to reach if you're short. I think the culture at Upper is very social. It's kind of known as the most social residence and I definitely think it lives up to that name. It can get a little bit loud, especially on a Friday night. Next up, I have my dresser, which um, has another mirror, which is very nice for getting ready and stuff. And then I have four drawers. This is my desk. It comes with a chair. I think all the residences do, but it's a fun spinny chair. And it also comes with a cork board where you can put, you can pin things up. You can put like a calendar here. You can do photos like I did. And it also comes with a light, but I think the light is really ugly, so I also have my own lamp. And it has some outlets as well. And it also has two drawers and one kind of cabinet thing. Next we have the glorious window. It is really big, I think, for the size of the room. It makes the room feel a lot bigger. Um, you can open these kind of side panels. This is also where our heaters are and you can control that using this little button. We don't have air conditioning in this residence, unfortunately, but thankfully it's cold most of the year when you're at school. And then I also have my handy dandy fridge and it's a decently big fridge, especially because I'm the only one that uses it. Our trash can and our recycling, which also come with the room. And there are trash bins and recycling bins on each floor or on the common room for you to dump out all of your stuff. We have my bed. It's a twin size bed, but it also comes with a shelf on top so you can charge your phone at night. There's an outlet on top. There are two communal washrooms on each floor, each with two bathrooms, a bunch of sinks, and three showers. Amenities within the building. We have some common spaces on the ground floor as well as the study room on that floor. And then in the basement, we have our laundry room for the whole building. We have, we're really close to Forbes Field. Um, McConnell actually is right um, in front of Forbes Field. We have BMH Dining Hall, which is kind of shared by all the upper residences. We have Mohayal Park, which is super close by. And especially in the fall, it's really, really nice to take walks and we also have the Percival Molson Stadium close by and you can actually kind of hear the games when they're happening, which is super cool. Biggest con in terms of Upper is the fact that it's called Upper for a reason. It is kind of on top of, or halfway up the hill. And that walk can be a little bit daunting, especially in the winter when it gets super icy or snowy. I think there's the meme of the girl slipping down the hill in the spring when everything is just all flooded and wet um, but it can be kind of a hassle to climb up the hill at the end of each day and I kind of like that it's a little bit farther away from the rest of campus because I can take walks um, at night without feeling scared. It's a lot of the hotel residences there right on Rue Sherbrooke which is like a very main street and there's just a lot of cars, there's a lot of noise, whereas here it can be a little bit more peaceful, I feel like. In first place, we have Royal Victoria College. I think it's kind of the best balance between a lot of these pros and cons, but for some cons, the dining hall does get crowded and it also has communal bathrooms that you have to share with other people. Hey, do you live here? At RBC? Yes. I do live here. Can I have a room tour? room tour. Yeah, I mean, what's your name? I'm Jun Hao. Okay, I mean, nice to meet you. Why not? Let's do a room tour. All right. Come on. All right. So as you can see, this is the lobby of RBC. If you come over here, you'll see that we have a pool table right there. So as you can see by this sign, there are two parts of RBC. There's the tower and the west wing. 
The tower is mixed gender and the west wing is for students who identify as women. So this is the RBC study room. Let's go take a look. Yeah. RBC is more social than the hotel style residences, but a little less social than the upper residences. Um, but then again, with any residence, it's about as social as you make it. If you don't go out of your way to meet someone, they're not going to go out of their way to try and meet you, right? For that reason, I would say, you know, smile at people, be friendly, start a conversation with a stranger. Yeah. Everyone's trying to make new friends, so. Yeah, ask a stranger for a room tour. Ask a stranger for a room tour. So RBC has two elevators for anyone to use, and there are 12 floors, I think. So let's go in. Actually, we're not taking the elevator because I live on the second floor. So let's take one of the three staircases that lead up to the second floor. So as you can see over here, we have a shower room. It has three showers. Uh, they are communal showers. Same with the bathrooms. So here's a tip for showering. Make sure you buy yourself a shower caddy from Dollarama or Walmart. It's very helpful for if you have like a bunch of different products like shampoo, conditioner. So shower rooms in RBC, um, sometimes they're in the same room as the bathroom and sometimes they're separate. For my, uh, for my part of my floor, it's separate. So this is the bathroom. There are, I think, usually three stalls per bathroom on every floor and four sinks. I think every floor has one bathroom. Also, every floor has a kitchenette. If you're eating stuff, you can microwave it or you know you can wash your dishes and all that. Also, on every floor, there's at least one water fountain. Uh, a lot of people feel the need to buy a Brita filter pitcher or whatever, but honestly, I think the fountain water is just fine and I don't need a Brita filter. Also in RBC, every few floors has a laundry room. So it has a washer and a dryer. Make sure you don't buy Tide Pods. Make sure you buy like detergent because they don't want you using Tide Pods for whatever reason. Here's another tip. Whenever you're drying your stuff, make sure you clean out all the lint before you dry. That is before so much lint, oh my because gosh. You know what? People don't do it and it's very annoying. So another tip for laundry is that the room comes with a laundry bag, but personally I prefer a basket, so I brought myself a basket, but the bag works just fine too. All right, so now we're going to be going into my room. So as you can see, this is my room and every room at RBC uses a physical key. So make sure you don't lose it, otherwise they might charge you. Let's go in. So this is my room. There's an entire side for storage. It's almost too much storage because I do not have that much stuff. But you can see there are shelves and everything. There are, you know, you can open all these. There's these drawers. And it also comes with a desk and desk chair. It also comes with a garbage bin and a recycling bin, so you don't need to bring that yourself. It also comes with a wall lamp here, um, but honestly, I brought my own lamp and I like it better because the wall lamp is kind of dark. It might depend on the individual room that you got, but yeah. Um, make sure you bring lots of extension cords, maybe two yeah, probably two extension cords would be good. And as you can see, every room in RBC comes with a mini fridge. Every room should have windows and you can open it up until this much. It's not that much, but at least you can open them. Um, but RBC does not have air conditioning. So it'd be good to bring a fan for when it's hot. And also, um, RBC comes with a heating system. So during the winter, there will be heating. Every room in RBC comes with a twin size bed. That's twin, that's not twin XL. Um, and it comes with just the mattress. So make sure you buy your own bedding to bring. Some of the mattresses are more comfortable than the others. So I would recommend coming first and seeing if your mattress is comfy before you decide to buy a mattress topper. And as you can see, this closet is quite large actually. And it's quite deep. Like I can fit a whole lot of stuff in there. Like I can fit my whole arm in there. 
It's a very deep closet, so you can fit lots of stuff in there. At RBC, the doors, or at least in the tower, the doors are very thin. Um, so if someone's talking right outside your door and you're trying to sleep, like you can hear them word for word. Um, but keep in mind, I said the doors are thin, not the walls. So if people are talking in the room right beside you, you won't hear it because the walls are thick, but the doors are thin. So we're on the second floor in the West Wing. And as you can see, the style is very different. Like I said, the West Wing is all women who live here. Um, and the rooms are slightly larger. And from what I know, the West Wing is a little less social. Even though it's all women living in the West Wing, um, men are allowed to come and visit, but they just aren't allowed to live in this area. So as you can see, there's the main kitchen. There's a large fridge and freezer. It also comes with a stove, microwave, and an oven for anyone to use who lives at RBC. And don't forget about the ice machine. The RBC also has the West Lounge. The and there's a stereotype that everyone at RBC is a music student. And you know what? It's kind of true because RBC is right beside the music building. There are a lot of music students and there are also a lot of non-music students who also play music. There's also another music room, the TV room. So as you can see, it's a whole bunch of couches and a TV. If you want to use the TV room, make sure you bring an HDMI cord. As you can see, the West Wing also has its own elevators because uh, the tower and the West Wing aren't connected. You have to go through the lobby to get to one or the other. RBC has two vending machines for you guys to use. RBC is the closest to campus. It's literally a one minute, two minute walk to get to campus. It's literally right across the street from the engineering building. Um, and in the winter, it gets even more useful because who wants to walk a lot in the winter when it's crazy cold and there's snow everywhere? If you leave stuff in your room, you can grab it really easily. For example, I leave my laptop in my room um, every day. And if I happen to need it, I just walk back here and I grab it. And that's everything. I promise that no matter where you end up, you'll have a great time. All the people that help me with these dorm tours really like where they live. And I'll be doing a dining hall review next week, so stay tuned for that. Bye!